appreciate you being here today. Right now, we are currently hashtag sponsored by Gitchin Impact them for the next two hours or so. But we're gonna try to get through the storyline. But before we get into that, I want to talk a bit of things about the Gitchin Impact community and the self harm, the self infliction, the people that are not making Gitchin Impact look good. And I've talked about some of these gentlemen and people in the past and gave my thoughts and opinions. And I have kept myself for the most part outside of the ring and have given criticism which I have said since before, and I uh, will say that I've said this before, a lot of people actually, criticism isn't drama. Before you comment, criticism does not equal drama. And if you don't understand that, get an education. And I've said this before, other people have. Um, I, was, I, w I wouldn't say I'm the one that uh, formed this opinion first, or I wouldn't be the one person that says that I have came up with this thought before other people. If you hear something in the background, it's my wife doing... Um, Vacuuming, sorry, my words and my the thoughts are escaping me here. But anyways, I want to talk about some people that are harming the community rather than uplifting the community. Now, I get 4.4, 4.4 is not the most ideal point, and people don't like half baked or half done or I guess you can call them spinoffs or one offs or filler in their video games as much as they don't like it in anime or TV show or anything else like that, right? They they don't need that all the time. But, you know, if the game wants you to understand and come to endure, uh, relate, or feel for characters that they may introduce in it, well, they need them to introduce those stories and get you involved with those stories. Hey, thank you there, William, or whoever you are. I do appreciate you subscribing. I really do appreciate it. It's awesome. Yeah. But okay, so here, here's my thoughts on, on this whole Gitchin Impact theme. Okay, so there's a group of creators that are essentially, in, in some regards, not just attacking one's opinions on the game and their dislike for it, but they're also attacking the creator, saying that this creator is just toxic, just violent, just vicious, just these these bad term things about their opinions on whatever it may be uh, on the game, right? Now, I don't always relate to that person's opinions. And then who that person is, is Tectone. It's a big name in the Gitchin Impact community. He was or is the biggest name in Gitchin Impact and Listen America. So I don't like that, that his, he, you know, his opinions are always sometimes his opinions, though they might be the majority at times, um, they might not be, right? It's it's really one's reflection on it. And I, I would say this, if you uh, say something enough times, you know, or, or think something enough times, it might come to be true, right? If you, you have an opinion on something and it shows enough, it, it's, I, I had it thought, it thought out better the other day where, I forget how it goes. If you stay something uh, enough times, you you are you know the clock's twice right twice a day. If you stay something enough times, eventually you'll be true, right? In some regards, eventually you'll be right about something, right? If you say something enough times, you'll eventually be correct. And though I personally don't like the the mindset he has sometimes, where he's more fixated on gameplay. I get it. It's a video game game. It's a you're there to play a video game. But then again, he's put a lot of money in the game. And Tech Tone, if you ever watch this video, bro, I'm not attacking you personally. It's just it's my opinion. If you spend a lot of money in a video game and you blast through the content, what, what does that say, right? What does that say? In my opinion, that says that you burn through the content so fast because everything just died. And then now you have nothing to do now because everything's just dead. There's no challenge, even even a little bit. There's nothing to time gate you, and you spend your money, which you, where you earned it, to fast forward that time gate. Some of us want to spend that time. Some of us are okay spending that time because it gets us away from our daily lives. We're not trying to blast through our day, uh, video games so we can get back to our daily lives. No, we kind of want to bit in, you know, bite into it like you know, watching a TV show. We want we want to sit there for the wait. We want to play the game for hours on end, not have the blast through it and then had nothing to do afterwards this is my thoughts okay so and i'm not the only one who says that 
But does that does that make the majority? Probably. Does it make the minority? Probably. I don't know. I have no way of actually proving that. But if your large community says that, does that mean that's that's everyone else in the world? Joe, it just means your large community because that's the people that agree with you come to your channel. Not everybody always agrees with everybody. I get that, but normally normally people packed in groups of where they uh, um, have a similar ideas and opinions. So these people are attacking Tecton because of his opinions. Man, guy has made tons of claims against me, which I would like to reiterate, were never proven, completely baseless, pulled out of his ass, and people ate that shit up. And because of his thoughts on the game and what he would like to have in the game what he believes is agreeable or makes sense for how much money he has put into the game, how much time, how much creative juices, how much of his thoughts, and he's been ignored time and time again. Though he has done some things in the past he took credit for. I get that. And China, um, being that they're the, one of the largest groups uh, of players in this game, were supposedly boycotting the game, right? They were supposedly, you know, standing up for the mis- treatment of this uh lunar event and in some regards that can be true that is true that that they were upset about it they're not happy about it but they immediately failed afterwards because well people spill spending a lot of money of it so was that the lo loud minority or was that just or was that just the majority because if the majority of pe people still end up doing that then they their their whole argument and their whole reason to be upset was just grandstanding there there was there's they were sitting on top of their milk cart yelling to the top of their lungs in reality it was all just a show and then again get your impact has been caught doing a few you know uncouth things uh with their twitch accounts or their twitter accounts and other things like that we all know people do that even on Twitch, and I know some people that still do it to this day, trying to make the channel look really big, and I've been doing this for seven years, and I refuse to cheat just so I can get up there, so where people can actually notice me, and I actually can start getting off the, off the ground here. And I'm not trying to ask for anybody's attention here, I'm just saying, you can't attack someone personally for their opinions. You can't attack someone personally for their, their thoughts and ideas and what the game should and shouldn't be. Speaking of diverging the conversation, this isn't even about content to content creator drama. This was about my issue with Genshin Impact and my issue with trying to better the game. This post is diverging the conversation away from constructive criticism to drama between content creators. You should let people allow them to enjoy the game. They really enjoy it. I have a lot of things I enjoy about the games, but I do have a few nitpicks and gripes that I don't enjoy about the game. Do I want those changes? Yes. One of the changes, I hope they do, and I'll say right here, I want Get Your Impact to put more weapons in the game. Not just people with uh, abilities that pull out these weapons. I actually want weapons that are different types, different body types, different what weapon types. I want um, more diversity. I want more uh, multiplayer, you know, actual events where you play with your, well, not events, but actual things in the game that you should want to play with your friends doing it. Not you can. And that's just a few just gripes there. There's more, but that's just, just a few of them right there. But does, uh, does it mean I hate the game or do not recommend the game? No, I still recommend the game. Do I recommend you doing uh, what the, the gotcha system in the game? I, I think you don't need to. I really don't think you need to at all. But does it mean that I want people to not do it either? I'm not here to tell someone the morally what they can do with their life and do with their money. I'm not here for that. I'm just here to give my thoughts and opinions on whether or not this is a fun game to play with a very good story. It does have a very good story. It does have gameplay. It is enjoyable. It's not the not a 10 out of 10. It isn't, you know, isn't trying to take Breath of the Wild and be the next PAL world. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But, pretty, but at the same time, this game was very much Breath of the Wild at first. And over time, it became like its own thing in, in some regards. Everybody does it. They, they take one idea and then expand upon it. And that's a good thing. Expand upon a, an idea and make it even better. Um, and then, of course, we should be expanding our ideas and our opinions and making those opinions even better. Come to some conclusion, but not be attacking each other. They said, oh, yeah, you're true. Bro said my roommate 
was being manipulated by me and he was my puppet and anything that I said for him to do, he must have done. And I will stand here, I will say, I don't always agree with, with Tech Tone. I don't. But doesn't mean I agree with you attacking him either. That's not what, that's your place. I'm not saying stay your lane, but why are you attacking her, bro, if you're just not trying to get attention? Here, name dropping. Well, you know what's crazy about name dropping? So, Dish said, your very close friend, that when I'm vague about it, there's a problem. And so, then I name drop. And so, when I name drop, there's a problem. Here's an idea. I can't name drop or vaguely allude to people who aren't being cucks. Right, you are actually trying to start drama when you could just be critic just having criticism. That's it. But you're, you're attacking the person instead. You're attacking their livelihood. You check. You're, you're attacking their authenticity. As someone whose livelihood was saved off the backs of Miz and OTK, you should know better than to go for their livelihood. Now, this comment is the point where I hit the. Nah, I'm good, bud. After saying this, there is no more reason to be cordial. That's not, not a good thing. I would like to think that, right? I'm normally a pretty chill, pretty chill bro. And I, I will always say, if you are thinking the game should just be the way you think it should be, then you're disregarding everybody else's feelings as well, right? You could have, I can have the same opinions as Tecton, really all one for one. For the people who enjoy the game and think the game's fine, and are happy with the direction. Good. Play the game. Enjoy it. But if you don't, then don't play the game or give more critical content. You don't have to quit the game. But then have one disagreement in, in some regards. Does that make, does that one disagreement in that one regard make us no longer be able to be chill and cool with each other? Nah. I like to think not. So why, why are we so fixated on? one or two complaints or differences in one's opinion, then rather than not just trying to see where we can have an agreement. Now, uh, Gitchin, the whole verse, I do appreciate you sponsoring me, but I still believe that you could do better. There's always room for improvements. And if you are taking a long time to do those improvements, it's one of those things is it's better to be early to success than, than late to failure. That makes sense. Let me give you another give you another analogy. It's better to do something now to fix it than wait till it's already broken and then try to fix it then. That make better sense to you? So fix it now so when it doesn't it doesn't ever become a problem. But if it gets a problem and it becomes a dead game and you try to fix it then, you're not gonna bring back people. People are not gonna come back because they're gonna find something else they can latch on to. So don't let it be that. If you want to keep your community at least outside of China, you might want to fix fix that. But that's just my opinions. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you like and subscribe. Come on, check out my live stream if you want to. You know how to find it down below. But I'm not going to try to shout out here if anybody wants to, you know, give their thoughts and do a reaction to this video. As always, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good life. Much love, y'all. Bye. When you worry, you make it up. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be what to post because I think uh, some people should actually chill out. You're making the, the community look bad. Constantly fighting and bickering amongst themselves. It's fucking stupid. Then again, some YouTubers just want that. They just want that drama so they can get people to look at them. It's like, because oh, drama videos do good. And I'm pretty sure if I bring this, put this in the video, it's also there. If, I'm, if I put this in the video as well, bye. Be happy. Don't worry.